Hey y'all, I'm back. It has been a long time. I am back in the lab. I have missed being in the lab. I swear it's been a lot going on, but I am back in the lab, y'all. And right now, creating a Calendula face and body wash. And right now, it is, um, I did a video yesterday, actually of the process of me making it, but the video was horrible, I swear. I don't know. What was going on with me? I need to learn how to edit these videos right, but you know, <laughs> that's for another time. I'm gonna get these videos together. But anywho, so I will make another video of me actually creating this product. Um, right now it has to, after you formulate all the ingredients together, you have to let it sit for 24 hours for the xanthan gum and the guar gum to swell and thicken. So right now it's only been about 12 hours. Um, I was just checking on it just to see how it's coming along. It's coming along really nicely and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So I used um, three different essential oils and the essential oils are basically by, goes by, um, you know, the different skin types. Um, I did the research on, you know, of course, like the best essential oils to use for all different skin types. And so my choices that I picked for this was uh frankincense let me see i don't know if y'all can see that there you go okay frankincense uh cinnamon and ylang ylang i had to redo the label because it literally was like falling off so and these essential oils here all together are good for um anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-wrinkle, anti-aging, um, antibacterial. Like these are really good products for the skin and I figured why not put them all together. And actually I've never smelled these all together, but it really smells amazing. I can't wait till this is done so I can try it out because it really smells good. And so, um, but yeah. You guys, I will be back. Um, oh, let me show you how the flowers look. These are the calendula flowers. Um, and I wrote it down as far as like the benefits of calendula for the skin. Um, and I forgot where I wrote it at. But I will be back with a video actually showing how I create this, how I make it this, how I'm, you know, how I made this and all the ingredients that are used in here. There's a preservative, there's vegetable glycerin, glycerin. And as I stated earlier, is xanthan gum and guar gum to actually thicken it. Um, cocoa mito propyl betaine, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> um, deco glucoside, like it's several other ingredients that goes with this, but the process is like really simple. And I actually enjoyed making this. It was like really fun. So I definitely want to make it again. And Next time, I'm going to try a couple of different flowers um, for this recipe. So I'm going to do some research today on what other flowers to use for the skin and benefits. I think I may do it like a rose petal one. Um, and maybe, I don't know yet, but we'll see. But I will be back, you guys, with this finished look and the video of me creating this. So I will see you guys later. Bye.